We're also following some disturbing new allegations about CIA interrogations of terror suspects. A former lawyer for the CIA is revealing new details about waterboarding, confinement, uh, and uh, more of the so-called enhanced interrogation techniques. Our Brian Todd has been looking into this story for us. What are you finding out, Brian? Well, learning more about the intense pressure inside the CIA in the weeks after 9-11. Officials there had to do something, anything, to stop another possible attack. There came a moment when what became one of the biggest controversies in the war on terror was dropped in one attorney's lap. In the weeks after 9-11, the biggest fear gripping the nation was another attack around the corner. Inside the CIA, an obsession. To prevent another catastrophic attack on the homeland. John Rizzo was one of the CIA's top lawyers. How would the agency find out if another attack was coming? The CIA worried one al-Qaeda operative in their custody could tell them, Abu Zubaydah, but he wasn't talking. In his new book, Rizzo writes one of the methods they wanted to try on Zubaydah waterboarding depicted in the movie zero dark 30 the emails of the rest of the saudi group that wasn't the only enhanced interrogation technique they wanted to try in his book rizzo writes of something called the insult slap and cramped confinement where in zubeda's case they'd make him curl up in a small box and place an insect in it quote why an insect the response zubeda hates bugs it'll be something harmless but he won't know that John Rizzo says he was speechless over these ideas and had the power to squelch them. He didn't. The reason? The CIA had just been slammed for being asleep at the switch before 9-11, if there was a second 9-11 in the works. If Zubeda knew about it and the CIA hadn't gotten the intelligence from him, Rizzo worried, quote, I could not countenance the thought of having to live with that. Look, with 2020 hindsight, he should have said no. But when he made the decision, people told him, that you've got to look at the legality of this in terms of more Americans are going to die if we don't do something. Rizzo punted to the Justice Department, which green-lighted some of the techniques. Zubeda started talking. Rizzo says waterboarding and other enhanced interrogation techniques provided key intelligence leading to the capture of top al-Qaeda operatives. Former CIA officer Bob Baer disagrees with that, saying Abu Zubeda had previously said he would start to make things up if he was ever brought under those interrogation techniques. Zubeda is believed to have given some good information and some false leads. Neither the CIA nor George Tenet, who was CIA director at that time, would comment on John Rizzo's book. Wolf All right, Brian, thanks very much. Brian Todd reporting. Where was the last time you saw Bin Laden? Seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the uh, Bin Laden's courier? Africa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? Who is your sister? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the gayest person you know? Brother. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Second person you know. Listen to some of your party's candidates for president Saturday night. Using those techniques that we know will extract the information to save young American lives, and I will be for it until I die. I don't see it as torture. I see it as an enhanced interrogation technique. If I were president, I would be willing to use waterboarding. I think it was very effective. It gained information for our country. 